Yo, what's going on man? It's Mo Salim here from TripleYourTea.com and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about boron and whether it is actually a proven testosterone booster in men. So boron is a trace mineral that's naturally present in some foods and in the environment as well. Some foods that are rich in boron include chickpeas, kidney beans, raisins, almonds, and avocados. But in this video, we're going to be specifically focusing on the effect that boron supplementation has on testosterone levels. So there are three human trials that we're going to go over in this video. But if you want to dive deeper, and I highly encourage that you actually look at these studies yourself, then you can check out my blog post, which is linked below this video, which goes over each of the studies in more detail. All right, so in this first study, eight healthy male volunteers were brought into a lab and assigned to ingest 10 milligrams of daily boron supplementation for seven days. After this time period, their total testosterone levels remained unchanged. That being said, their free testosterone levels actually elevated by 28%. And just a quick note on the difference between total testosterone and free testosterone. So about 98% uh, of the testosterone that your body produces gets bound to SHBG, which is sex hormone binding globulin. So SHBG actually leaves testosterone inert and unable to exert an influence. So 2% of the testosterone actually remains free. And uh, by free, it is actually free not attached to SHBG, whereby it is able to exert an influence on your mind and body. So the most important number to look at is free testosterone because that is what exerts the influence. And not only did boron supplementation increase their free testosterone levels by 28%, but it also decreased their estrogen levels by 39%. So yeah, according to this first study, boron supplementation does seem to have a significant positive impact on testosterone. That being said, keep in mind that it was only performed over seven days, so we can't be sure whether this effect carries over in the long term as well. And that brings us to the second study in which 19 resistance trained male athletes were brought in and randomly assigned to ingest 2.5 milligrams of boron for seven weeks. And after these seven weeks, their total testosterone levels elevated by an average of 33% and their free testosterone levels elevated by an average of 15%. Now this is a much longer study over seven weeks and that means that the results are definitely more robust as well. But keep in mind that it was only a 2.5 milligram dose and in the first study it was a 10 milligram dose. So, so far the evidence seems pretty strong. But this third study is where things get a bit iffy. So 18 healthy male volunteers were brought in and assigned to ingest 10 milligrams of daily boron supplementation for four weeks. Each subject served as his own control and after the four week period their total testosterone levels elevated by about 11 percent. But another interesting finding about this study which actually goes against what we've been talking about is that the subject's estrogen levels actually elevated by 42 percent. So yeah, that's a pretty drastic increase which uh, brings us to the conclusion that based on the current scientific research the evidence regarding boron's effectiveness at increasing testosterone is not exactly conclusive, all right? So we definitely need more research to confirm the effect. And uh, so far, two out of the three studies show that it has a significant positive impact, while one out of the three studies show that it increases total testosterone while having a drastic increase of estrogen levels. So yeah, man, at this point, that's what the research says uh, regarding boron and its effect on testosterone. So as per boron's mechanism of action on testosterone, I was able to find some research that demonstrates how uh, boron supplementation actually increases your body's absorption rate of uh, vitamin D and magnesium. And both of these are minerals that are very important for testosterone production. So it seems that by increasing the absorption of your body of these two minerals is how boron is able to actually influence testosterone. And other than the possible testosterone benefits, boron supplementation also seems to have a positive influence on bone density, alleviating uh, inflammation, improving arthritis, preventing against uh, a range of cancers as well, and a range of other benefits that you can read about in my blog post below, but it, overall it seems to have a positive impact on overall health and not just hormone profiles for 
men. So the standard dosage of boron supplementation, the minimum effective dose seems to be about 2.5 milligrams and the maximum dose seems to be about 20 milligrams and if you exceed that some possible side effects according to WebMD include uh, convulsions, headaches, depression and what else was it? Uh, diarrhea, vomiting, weakness yeah, some of these are possible side effects if you go above the recommended dose. I'll link out to the studies below. But uh, yeah, those seem to be the possible side effects. But yeah, in conclusion, more evidence than not supports the fact that boron has a positive influence not only on testosterone, but on a range of other health benefits as well. All right. With that being said, if testosterone optimization is a priority for you, always focus on diet and lifestyle changes before you focus on supplementation, all right? Now, boron can definitely help. So can supplementing with magnesium, vitamin D, and all these other critical micronutrients that help with overall health and your testosterone. But always combine them with diet and lifestyle changes first, all right? If you don't make those changes, then supplements will not really help to the extent that you will actually begin to experience the benefits of higher testosterone levels, all right? With all that being said, this has been Mo Salim from TripleYourT.com and I'll see you soon.